Well, I'm really enjoying island life in Japan this summer, particularly here at Yuge, where there seems like a new tribe of islanders emerging. Young people, entrepreneurs moving here, as well as retired people. Lots of energy, including this guy right here. He's gonna appear any moment, he, oh, including this guy right there. I'm Lowell Shepard. I'm on board sailing vessel Wahine at Gibsey 402, and together we form Pacific Solo. It's my goal to cross the North Pacific before I'm 70 years old. I'm 67 now, but for the last year, I've been on a training voyage around Japan preparing for that. I've been in over 55 ports so far, and the last month I've been exploring a group of 25 islands known as Kamijima. Out of the 25 islands, 18 are uninhabited, four connected by bridges, and I've made some amazing discoveries here, particularly kind of a new tribe of people. And it's often sad what you find because these coastal towns are dying. People are moving away, shops are boarded up, but here it's different. Uh, ended my time here with fireworks, the first fireworks that I've had in three years. So come with me as we explore Kamishima. Thanks again. Bye bye. That's funny. Okay. Great. Wow. We're at uh, Matsubara Beach here, which is on the uh, eastern side of Yugi Island. Well, past those islands, a bit further on, a bit further on is Osaka. quite exciting. I've met all kinds of interesting people. You know, you've got artists, young families, entrepreneurs, uh, retired people who are moving here. And what's amazing is that the old time islanders are actually welcoming all these younger people and this new energy here. The Springett family who arrived by boat uh, seven years ago, Sam, a boat builder, who Matt and Momo, who run the Umino Eki, Nagi, who's here working in the town hall. So this is my buddy Dave Sinclair from the UK, from Caravan, he's a rock star. <laughs> so I had some musicians visit my boat, Mike and Shintaro of Nature's Neighbor. <laughs> What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Hey, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, there lie in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor. Put him in the bed with the 
the bed with the captain's daughter early in the morning. <laughs> I've been to uh, an archaeological dig where they discovered artifacts from 10,000 years ago led by a professor from Matsuyama. Uh, you see these islands, these 25 islands used to be basically hills and mountains uh, above a lush valley separating or joining Honshu and Shukoku. But at the end of the Ice Age, that basin flooded. So now it's known as the Seto Inland Sea. It's really a cool place to be. There you go. Okay, get that back. Um, yeah, so I'm Matt, Matthew, Matt Peterson, and- I'm Momo called Peters. Fell in love with the place and roped Momo along. I was like, let's move to Yuge. And then <laughs> three and a half years later, we're still here. Fumi no Eki is basically a spot where yacht people can stop and supply and have showers and throw rubbish and that kind of stuff around Japan. Uh, have a library here where people bring books and air. Right, and that's the shower which I have enjoyed frequently. Yeah, the client. 100 yen for three minutes and you can turn it on and off. Yes, 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 yes. So when we, when we first moved in, when we first moved here, we didn't have a shower. Well, the hot water is broken, so we even came down and shower here. Right. Um, <laughs> so it's very useful. <laughs> yeah, green boat. Yeah, green boat. Yeah, green boat. Yeah, yeah, green boat. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's right. The beautiful green so boat. He's got his laundry out. <laughs> that's uh, 8.30 to 5.15. Yeah. Yeah, but the outside the toilets, the washing machine. 24 hours. Shower. It's 24 hours. So. so yeah, we started doing this cycling tour and, and from there um, kind of expanded and we started managing this. A company name is called Kamijima Tours. That's the website, kamijimatours.com. It's called Kamijima Adventures, okay. which is kind of my scooter tours and uh, rentals. And this is the Yuge Sea Station, this right. building here. So this is a tourist information. It's just not for your customers. Come here and everyone's welcome. Yeah. Good. Yeah, visit. It's a great place and apparently best coffee in Yuge. <laughs> well, I'm really enjoying island life in Japan this summer, particularly here at Yuge, where there seems like a new tribe of islanders emerging. Young people, entrepreneurs moving here as well as retired people. Lots of energy, including this guy right here. His name is Sam. He's going to appear any moment. Yeah, yeah, my name is Sam Saito and I run Shimatabi Yachts, my two boats in the background there. And I do island tours around uh, the beautiful Setanaikai. Uh, my family originally came uh, a few years ago, oh, quite, a, quite, a, quite a few years ago. Um, and they were traveling around uh, Thailand and Malaysia and Borneo and things like that. And they, they slowly made their way up to Japan. And uh, this was the place that managed to kind of slow them down. <laughs> And I was supposed to go to the city and, and start working, but uh, yeah, I just, I guess I slowed down too and started a business and, and things have been working out really well. So. They're uh, 27 foot uh, warrams, uh, called, uh, uh, they're called an Amatazi design. A uh, traditional Polynesian, um, and they're just really simple. Uh, no metal parts on board. It's all either natural rope or wood. Um, and uh, yeah, they've been great for the tours. I've been I've been really enjoying testing the boat's uh, abilities, and uh, yeah, all my customers have been really 
uh, impressed. It took a, a year and a half to build two of them. Me and my little brother helped. And uh, yeah, uh, There's, they're really simple, but it makes things so easy. You know, right. simple is better in, in my opinion. Name is Worm Design. Right. Uh, so they've got the sharp V holes at the front. Right. Um, with a gaff rig as well. So just for, for people that are uh, just coming onto the boats or boating is their first time, it's, uh, you don't have to worry about a boom. You don't have to worry about grounding or, or, or snapping your keels and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so as long as you've got 40 centimeters of water, we can pretty much go around these islands. Um, wow. Mm. Want to move into a little bit of um, kind of cleaning up all of these beaches as well. Right. Trying right. to get into, because um, a lot of these uninhabited islands, well, basically, I'm the only one that can get there. So I feel a responsibility oh. to not only clean them up, but also, you know, all that plastic sitting there, it ends up turning into microplastic. It ends up going back into the food. You know, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. If, if since I have these kinds of boats. Ima Tabi, which means uh, island uh, journey. Uh, so S-H-I-M-A-T-A-B-I yachts.com. Do you think Kamijima in itself as a, as, a, as a town, as a tourist destination is one of the most underrated, uh, almost a hidden little gem of Japan. And Hi Nagi. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? Good. My name is Nagi. Nagi Nakayama. I'm from Hiroshima in Japan, but I moved to this island Yuge uh, last year. My job is to help the revitalization of this uh, town, especially to uh, promote people to move in to this island from outside of the town, outside of the prefecture. Already see several people and groups or families moved in last year since I started working here. So many people are interested in uh, the ocean and the, just like island life compared to the city life. And uh, when they get here for the first time, they like the vibe and the kind of people here. So I think it's a vibe. Island chill life here. Ike and Shintaro here, Hi. musicians, friends of Nagi from many years ago, at least these two. And uh, great musician, and he's gonna improvise a song. He's gonna sing a love song to oh, my boat, song. Wahine. Here we go. Never uttered or performed before, or even this is thought really of before. Improvisation. Mm, mm, mm. This oh, thing. Wahine. Mm. Girl, you're as pretty as a hime. <laughs> I can't believe it I step onto your wooden floor You take me right through your door And sail me out to the unknown you take a few days and just stay so I can see your face again I can't forget the time when you took me to the set on night guy when I think about it now I cry every night <laughs> <laughs> to the violin <laughs>
And thanks to all my patrons for making this happen, the sponsors for helping support the boat project itself. Uh, please like, please share, and remember, truly, it's never too late.